Hello everyone. Today, in this video, we will learn about the process of rack management in MARP books. For example, if we talk about a pharmacy. So with the help of rack management option in pharmacy, you can easily sort and rack-wise maintain products of multiple companies and brands. For example, rack number 1, rack number 2, and so on. And during billing, without any dependency, you can easily find out which item is placed in which rack, so that, whenever a customer visits your shop to buy medicine or other medical products, you and your operators can quickly find the product from the specific rack and provide it to the customer. Through this, you will save your time as well as the time of your customers. Additionally, if your operator is not available, you can eliminate the dependency during their absence. Now let's come and see how to create racks using the rack master option in mark books for that we will go to the masters menu and click on inventory master here you will find the option of rack if the rack option is not visible in the inventory menu then in this condition you will go to the dashboard and click on the setting icon then click on the configure button given next to the control room and search for the rack option here now enable the rack option by selecting yes from the drop down after enabling the rack option will appear in the inventory menu. Now click on it. Then a window of rack list will open. To create a new rack, click on the create button provided here. Then a small window of create rack will open. From the drop down of store name field, we will select the store for which you want to create a rack, in which by default, you will get to stores available, that is main store and the scrap store. If you need to create a store with a different name, then by clicking on the create button, you can create a new store from this window. For now, we will select the main store and in the rack field, mention the rack number according to the products. For example, we will mention rack number one. Now we will click on save to save the changes. In this way, you can create multiple racks in marked books and maintain products according to their rack numbers. You can easily maintain your stock items according to their rack numbers during item creation and even after the items have been created. In addition to that, if you want to edit or delete a rack number, you can click on the edit icon provided next to that rack and make the necessary changes as per your requirements. And if you want to delete a rack, you can delete it by using the delete icon. Here, you will take care of one thing that you cannot delete a rack in which the products are maintained until you do not shift the stock of that rack to another rack number. And as we have mentioned earlier, you can find out during billing that which item is placed in which rack number based on the rack number. So for that, when you will come from the billing window to the item window, the details of the particular item will be displayed below, in which the rack number will also be shown to you that this particular item is maintained in which rack number. You can easily select the items being built from the item window and load them into the bill. So, friends, in this way, with the help of rack management option, you can rack-wise maintain your products according to your trade. Thanks for watching.